This is Mad Static. Now last Halloween season, I spoke on how I really hate loving Dead Rising 2, off the record specifically, and how I replayed the game every year around this time. But this year, I'm finally setting my sights on the first game. A game considered the best of the series by most. A game that kept glitching out on my PS4 for some reason. Still not sure why that was happening, but it just never worked there properly. And a game that, in my experience, is much more of an asshole than its younger brother. I had actually tried beating the game sometime after that Dead Rising 2 video, but I was doing so horribly that I just dedicated that first playthrough to grinding out zombie kills. Will I beat the game this time around? Absolutely. I will not rest until I uncover the truth in the story that I probably won't be paying attention to. Am I sort of cheating by using a level 33 save file? Kind of. I don't care though. Can I save people while beating the game? Now, that's the real mystery to me, because truthfully I have no idea. The AI in this game is like actually the worst I've ever seen. But will I have fun along the way? No. Let's start. Now I do love this cutscene though, because you know, how is this old lady just completely throwing these dudes off her? Now, if you look at the dog, you'll notice that the zombies aren't paying it any attention. It's safe. This lady's just a dumbass. Everyone's dying. This is a great photo op. Don't worry, I'll save as many of you as possible. Hiya! Okay, well I'll try. Now that the intro's over, the real game starts. Jeff? Jeff? Jeff! There we go. Aw. What a touching moment. Fantastic. Alright, wrap it up! If only they were all gonna be this easy. Hey, Carlito, you stupid! Stop shooting people! Roll kick! Ah! Oh, you bastard! Uh, you bastard! Uh, you bastard! Ken, I need you in frame to actually take the photo. I can't do anything with these zombies swarming me, so if, if, if you want me to hurry up, then do what you're supposed to. Do the pose. Do the pose. What are you doing? Don't worry, fellas. I came prepared. Got some juices here for you. Help you heal up real quick. Bert, I'm going to go ahead and hand you this sledgehammer over here. Keep it close. Keep it together. Now, Aaron, uh, is there another sledgehammer anywhere? No? All right, well, a pipe should suffice for now. Here you go. Now, Leah, I cleared out the space for you. You can come on over now. Come on over now. Please, climb over the ledge. There you go. We're all so proud of you. Come on, climb on my back, and we're good to go. Aaron! Oh, crap. I forgot the prison dude's come this early. That is really bad. I can formulate a plan here. I just need some time and to head back inside for a sec. Group, come on. I'm gonna make some quick steps for me and some healing items for safety. All right, I'm gonna have you guys chill in this corner over here. I'm gonna go in the middle of the park, save that girl, and take care of Ben. What? The f no! Go back in the middle! Leave them alone! Wow! Wow! Do you guys see this shit? You actually see what I'm dealing with? No. How is that supposed to be possible? Tell me, realistically, how is that supposed to be fuck- Aaron, please, I'm shooting at them for you. Stop standing there! You have plenty of chance to run away. What? You suck! You deserve to die. You're, Cause you're an idiot. You're actually stupid. Alright group, you're gonna go right in that spot. Right there. Alright? Cool. Now you're gonna walk right out of that frame. Not gonna, Not gonna happen. Get the fuck out! Go! Get out! There you go, see? Was that so hard? From an outsider's perspective, you might think my actions excessive, abusive, maybe even psychopathic. But my game completion relies on their survival. And the only way to get them to survive is through violence. So I'ma be violent. <laughs> Alright, I made all the quick steps I need for me, I got all the wine I need for them, and I even made a quick save just to be safe. This time, we got it. They're gonna chill in the corner, I'm gonna run down to the middle of the park, kill the assholes with a machine gun, and I'm gonna save the girl, I'm gonna come back here, get the rest of the group, and we're gonna make it to safety without a problem. Double time, let's go. Uh, where are the prisoners at? And you know what? Fuck it, I'm not complaining. Let's leave. Alright, the plan's going a little differently from how I planned. Whatever glitch is keeping the prisoners from spawning, don't want to mess with that. And I think I know the next uh, boss that's coming up, so I'm going to have them wait somewhere while I safely take that new boss out. And then we're going to unlock a shortcut that takes us to the place. Hey, I can't guarantee they're happy, but those are some very alive faces we're looking at. Yes, indeed. 
Now, you guys show him the corner of this bathroom. Bert, if any zombies come in, you kill him. I will be right back. Do not leave no matter what. I'm going to be fighting a clown with chainsaw, so have fun. Now, this guy used to be damn near impossible until I found out his weakness. Cash registers for some reason. Boom. I suck at aiming. Let me get this other one. Stop walking so damn fast. Jesus. Uh, okay, that works. Boink. Yeah, yeah. It's not letting me out. Let me go. Let me go. Uh, excuse me. Eh. And just like that, he's a joke again. As clowns should be. Now, let me find another cash register. Oh? Oh. Oh shit, run over there as fast as possible. No, don't go find him, you idiot. Oh my lord, you fuck. Adam, focus on me. Over here. Right now. In. Oh, bull. In. One more hit. Oh shit. Ow. That is ridiculous. Hello? Hello? Bro, bless this dumbass man. Alright. Commands cancel out after cutscenes for some reason. That is good information to have. Now we can get to the safe room at least. The... Alright, well that was relatively painless. That's not always going to be the case getting from the bathroom to the safe room. But this time we got lucky. Maybe because it's the first group? I don't know. Come on, Harry. Get your shit together, man. And I'm going to talk. Ooh, I forgot to do that throw. Alright, you good to go, Aaron? Nice. We're almost done, guys. I just have one more challenge I need you guys to overcome. Before you're safe. Yeah, I know, it's a big ledge, but I believe in you guys. Maybe try going one at a time. It was a bumpy road, and we had multiple timelines where you guys died horrible deaths, but we made it in this one. I'm proud of all of you. Yes, even you, Aaron, you fuck. With proper planning and just the right amount of luck, this first group of people were actually able to survive. Well, just how difficult it was to get here. I couldn't help but wonder, was this the first of many survivors, or a handful of the few?